Well, do you like fishing? Do you like to get out there in a boat and just hang out with a fishing pole? Well, this is all about fishing facts. So kick back, grab a beer, <laughs> grab a cup of coffee. Well, let's talk about fish. Hey there, guys. I know you guys like fishing. And I thought we'd spend a little time looking at some interesting facts I found on the internet about fishing and fish. So here's my first one. Well, one of the first ones I've come across here and I kind of knew but didn't quite know, but did you know that most fish reproduce by laying eggs, right? Well, some fish. But the great white shark, they give birth to live babies. So what I didn't know is live baby fish are called pups. There you go. Now this is kind of odd and I'll just kind of go through it with you here. So you guys know what those mud skippers are? Well they call a mud skipper is a fish but it spends most of its time out of the water. It walks on its fins. It carries a portable water supply with it in its gills and it leaves the water. It also breathes through the pores of its skin but it's called but it's actually a fish. <laughs> okay now here's something you might or might not know but you should know. Did you know that a starfish and a jellyfish are not fish? Also did you know that most brands of lipstick contain fish scales? That explains it. Now this next one is surely going to impress your friends, but did you know that seahorses are the only fish that swim upright? Good to know, huh? Now this is actually kind of interesting. I, 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 I never really thought about it before, but did you know that a fish's jaw is not attached to their skull? So many fish can shoot their mouths forward, which we've all seen that, just never thought about it like a spring to a catch startling the prey. <laughs> it's like, oh, that makes sense. Sharks, they're the only fish that have eyelids. <laughs> and most fish have taste buds all over their bodies. Hmm, that'd be interesting. Now this next one ought to keep you up at night. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Did you know most fish have little salt in them? However, sharks, they have their meat is as salty as the ocean. Now for those of you who really like to use lures, here's some information that you probably should know. Most fish can see in color and use colors to camouflage themselves or defend themselves in their territory. Most fish have the best possible eyesight for their habitat and can most certainly see you peering at them in a fish tank. <laughs> Some fish can pol see polarized or ultraviolet light. So I found that kind of interesting. Not to mention that in the water, I uh, was watching a Charlie White show many years ago, and he was showing colored lures going down into deeper water because of lack of light. Um, it, and he, if you looked at it in a black and white s scenario, it was interesting to see how... Uh, the different colors of silver and, and, and red, stuff like that, start turn, getting darker and darker, like red turns out to be like black. So anyway, interesting stuff. Now the next time you look into an aquarium, you need to start looking at the fish tails a little bit. But, and then if you're, you know, if you like the salmon fish and, and on, uh, bass fish and that stuff, th this is kind of interesting. Fish that have thin fins with a split tail indicate that they need to move quickly through the water or need to cover great dis distances. On the other hand, fish that live along rocks and reefs near the ocean floor have broad lateral fins and large tails. Huh. Don't you hate it when you listen to your show and realize you're actually learning something? Ugh. <laughs> this hurts my brain. So let's take a look at how a fish is designed. <laughs> so, you know, when you uh, see a ship or a sailboat, their keel is at the bottom to keep the, uh, the boat from capsizing. But a fish, on the other hand, 
have the keel on their top or on their back. If the paired fins stop uh, functioning to keep them balanced, the fish turns over because the heaviest part tends to sink. And that's what happens when they die. So when you see a fish die, they t tend to be upside down. That's because their keel is actually on the top of their bodies. <laughs> that's kind of interesting. Now, not that I've ever seen a gliding fish, but it is kind of interesting to find out that on the average, flying fish can glide 160 feet or 50 millimeters, but have been known to glide as far as 660 feet. And they can reach heights of 19 feet in the air. <laughs> I love to see that. So this next one's kind of a simple fact, but it's kind of strange to think about it since they live in water. A fish can drown in water, like humans. Fish need oxygen. If there's no oxygen in the water, they suffocate. Seems, makes sense, but seems kind of odd at the same time. So now when you look at a school of fish moving through the water, what do you think? Do you think the front fish, the back fish, or the side fish control the school? And the fact is, the fish in the middle of the school control the school. <laughs> so there. Most fish cannot swim backwards. Those can, or those that can, are from the eel family. So here's probably another myth you probably thought might have been real, but fish would actually suffocate if they tried to chew because chewing would interfere with water passing through their gills. So apparently they just swallow everything whole. For those of you who had a chance to go fishing maybe down in Mexico, did you know the fastest fish is a sailfish? It can swim as fast as a car travels on a highway. And that kind of explains because that just drives me crazy when you go down fishing, deep sea fishing for them. The boat's actually moving very fast. It trolls its bait very fast. And it's like if you're like me from Washington State and do salmon fishing stuff, you would never troll that fast with bait but it was amazing we caught six sales fish the one time I went down there amazing so of course we gotta talk about who the slowest fish is the slowest fish is a seahorse <laughs> it swims so slowly that a person can barely tell it's moving the slowest is a dwarf seahorse <laughs> it takes about one hour for it to travel five feet it even looks like it's simply standing up not swimming I got a feeling it got a related to my wife. There's approximately 32,000 different kinds of fish in the world today, which is more than all the other kind of vertebrates combined. Scientists are discovering new species all the time. So that's still growing, guys. Some of you folks might have heard this before, but it's kind of interesting. Unlike bony fish, sharks and rays do not have swim bladders. They have to swim all the time. They have to keep moving. And when they, even when they're sleeping, otherwise they will sink to the bottom of the ocean. This statement will kind of blow your mind a little bit, but the term fish is used when referring to one species of fish. For example, 10 salmon are 10 fish. The term fishes are used when referring to more than one species, like 10 salmon, three trout, and one angelfish are 14 fishes. <laughs> Got that? Okay there, fisher people. You're now informed. Of course, there's a lot more to share with you, but I'd bore you to death. <laughs> but anyway, now that you've learned a little bit more about fish and fishes, <laughs> go out there and get yourself a fish. Anyway, this is Rob from Outdoor Travel Radio. Have a great day. Be safe out there and enjoy our outdoors. Bye now.